everyone, and welcome back to Truth For Real Truth Audio. Today, I'm going to be speaking about endogenous retroviruses, irrefutable evidence for evolution. Now, first of all, let's describe what endogenous retroviruses, or ERVs, really are. ERVs can enter the host body and remain dormant for a while. But, if this ERV activates inside of the germline, then it will remain there forever, as long as the descendants continue produ to produce, reproduce. Now, in the genome of an ape and a human, there are about 50 million or more slots that the ERV can enter into. So, we find an ERV in one slot in the ape genome, and we find the same ERV in the same slot in the human genome. The odds are more than 1 in 50 million, but we'll just roll with that this for now. This helps us prove common ancestry, b ancestry between us and apes. Here's the most common, ar common argument against ERVs from creationists. They would say this, well, this just proves a common design. Well, not really, because an ERV can potentially cause cancer. Or, creationists may say this, well, Adam and Eve both contracted this after the fall, and the ERV was put into the genomes at the same time. Well, even if this was true, this doesn't explain why it was put into the exact same slot. It's still a 1 in 50 million chance, remember this. Okay, so this video was another short one, but this is why we see endogenous retroviruses as irrefutable evidences for evolution. Thank you all for watching this video. Oh, and no, it's not just a genetic similarity.